it's a bit Christmassy maybe, but I'll stick to my story. It's winter decorations. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you saw my first YouTube video or if you're new, welcome! My name is Nina and this is a brand new channel uh, and here we will talk about home decor and DIYs and farm life house. But today I'm going to show you how I decorate my uh, dining room table for winter. Uh, in my first video I showed you how I decorated my fireplace mantle for winter and I'm going to keep with the same theme for my dining room table. I'll do the same as I did in my last video and first show you how I decorated for Christmas. As you can see, I've used uh, traditional colors also here, uh, reds, gold and green. And the theme is uh, almost the same as my winter decorations. It's a kind of uh, uh, glittery woods, but here with a bit more Christmassy uh, decor. Yeah. Okay, so now for the uh, winter decor table. I'll, I've kept some of my glittery stuff uh, and uh, the theme is about the same. Some of you maybe say that this is Christmas decorations. Uh, if so, then maybe you can be inspired for your next Christmas table. Uh, I like to keep my house, the interior of my house and the decor in my house the same as uh, uh, the outside. I like to reflect the outside on the inside. And as I mentioned and showed you in my last video, in Norway it's 10 degrees uh, minus 10 degrees Celsius and a lot of snow. So we have full winter yet and probably going to have for a long time still. So, I'll, uh, what, I'm, I'm sorry for the dogs, uh, one is outside barking, so one is inside uh, also barking. I'll, I'll hope he'll uh, be quiet. Uh, first I'll show you what I've uh, got, uh, and then I put you up on the other tripod and you can see how I decorate. I'm also going to set the table. Uh, so you can see um, the whole finished project. And now my dog is eating. I'm sorry. Okay, let's get to it. Um, I this is uh, to call it a, a basket or a tray uh, made of uh, wood or branches or yeah you get the drift and this will be my centerpiece uh, and I will try to make a kind of uh, a glittery gold forest inside here and then I have these um, I tried to find the English word I couldn't find it so if Anybody knows what this is called in English? Please comment below. Uh, it's to put underneath your your uh, plate. I I'm not going to use it for the uh, for my plates this time. Uh, I'm going to set some of my decor on it. But yeah, so I have two of these, and then I think this must be. This I found in a hotel in Sweden this year and if 
I were to pick out any of my Christmas decor or my decor that I like the most, I think this will be at least top three. It's a garland, very glittery. I don't. I hope it comes across on the camera. Um, it's a. It's maybe. It's a gold, but uh, maybe more of a rose gold. It's very nice. So this I'm most certainly going to use. Then I have two glittery reindeers for the Norwegian viewers uh, these I bought at a shop called Nilla I'm sure that everything I can find here in Norway you can at least if you live in the US or in uh, England or in the UK you will find a lot more stuff um, yeah two reindeers and of course my glittery trees uh, some small and some big and I have a reindeer head and some lights battery uh, battery operated the same as I used in my mantle decor um, and I have these these glittery pine cone flowery thingamajigs I don't know what it's called uh, but they sparkle that's the most important thing they sparkle and then I have some glittery flowers it's a Christmas flower okay I'll admit that but um, in Norway we call them Christmas star or Julesterner yeah and then I have some glittery pine cones some big and some small and these very very glittery leaves I don't know where I found this I m much of my decor I, f I find in in uh, flower shops um, and then I have two of these candlesticks these were my mother's so these have sentimental value and it was the only gold-like ca uh, candlesticks I've, I've got so these and I have these napkins holders made of uh, this rope and I have some napkins these are bought at home and cottage uh, store in Norway and so were the napkin rings and then I bought enough burlap to, <laughs> to decorate, I think, to decorate my whole house. One minute, I just have to let my dog in. Okay. Uh, and I have these... Uh, I, try to, I try to find out what these kind of robes are called in English. Uh, I couldn't find the words, but... It's a kind of natural, and I have them in different different uh, sizes. So yeah, some thin, and uh, this is a more thicker. Yeah. 
And then I have this tray with this glass, whatever you call this, on top. Please help me uh, get better in English. So if you know the English words, please comment below. Okay. So, I'll put you on the tripods so you can see what I do. I start uh, with a tray and uh, I put the two candle holders. I will get new lights for those. In the middle. And then I'll put my glittery trees. Different sizes. I learned once that you should always decorate in three, not two. So I should have another candle holder, but I don't. Like that. And one here. And then I'll take my glittery garland and just Drape it around. Thing like that. And then I'll take one of my glittery reindeers. This could be a funny drinking games, you guys. How many times in one video can I say glittery? Like that. Just have to move it a bit around. And some pine cones. Large and small, and then I'll take my lights. And I, I always turn on the light so I can see that it's uh, that I get light everywhere. And I put the batteries in the back so so. They don't show. This. some of these leaves I'll get some uh, new candles for the candle holders. So, that's my centerpiece done. Okay, I'll put that to the side. And on each side of the centerpiece I want a small decoration. So, I'll make one uh, decoration on this platter plate or whatever you call it and 
Hold your circuit free. And the reindeer. And maybe some pine cone. You just have to play with it. I I may change this when I I eventually eventually. pine cone flowery things yes like that and on the other side of the centerpiece I'll use this we call it glass bell I don't know what you call it you would call it in English. Like this. And then I have some pine cones. Like that. And some golden leaves. I want to say four for my Table setting. <laughs> I think I'm pleased with that. I haven't tried this before, but I'm going to uh, try to make a table. Do you call it table runner or a table cloth uh, with this burlap? So I'll come back when I've done that and you can see how I set the table. Okay, so here's my burlap homemade table runner. What I did was I just cut a piece. This is uh, ordinary burlap, the kind you use in the garden. And I just cut out a, a piece and took some of the threads out. I had to cut the seam on, it was sewn with seams around, so I had to cut off the seam. And I pulled out some of the threads. So you get this kind of fringy look. Looks nice, I think. I like the rustic with the more glittery, pretty things. And now I'll set the table. that And that's how I decorated my uh, dining room table for winter. It's a bit Christmassy maybe, but I'll stick to my story. It's winter decorations. Don't tell my husband anything different. I have to give a big shout out to Arlene at Arlene's Country Craft Corner. That's a mouthful for a Norwegian. She inspired me to use the burlap on the table 
and I also have to give a shout out to Liz at Traditions by the Seasons uh, also a lovely lady if you haven't seen any of their videos uh, check out their channels uh, and a big thank you to those of you who watched my first video and who subscribed and co commented please comment below uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell it's down here somewhere um, yeah next video I think I'll do some Valentine's Day maybe some cakes um, I don't decorate much for Valentine's uh, a little but I'm going to make some cakes so I'll hope you come back uh, be kind and be your best sparkly self bye